All right, back for another episode. Uh, it's been a bit. Uh, I apologize for the lack of quality, or it might be good. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I picked up a, a new cell phone. Left my camera up at uh, Flipping Great Pinball, so that's all I really had to film with. But what we're going to do today on this episode is we're going to be looking at um, a console that not a lot of people like, but uh, I always kind of liked it, but it always kind of hurt to play it. But I picked up the uh, FurTech uh, VGA uh, Virtual Boy Tap. So we're going to go ahead and look at the actual product, and then we're going to go ahead and install it into my Virtual Boy, and we'll see how it looks after that. Let's check it out. So here is the actual product. This is the uh, Virtual Tap by Furtech. I went with the VGA version only because it's easier for me to carry around a uh, VGA monitor if I want to bring this to a gathering or if I want to bring it to a show or something like that. And also by doing this, it doesn't compromise the output um, aspect. So if you if you get the RGB one, I'm sure it looks fine and I'm sure it's not that bad, but it actually does um, kind of squish in the size of the resolution, whereas the VGA is basically doubling it to 800 by 600, I believe. Um, I could be wrong on that resolution. I'll double check it and post it here. Um, but this is pretty much it. It's this little guy here. This is the board. Um, on the other end of this, there is like a little ribbon cable that we're actually going to use to, it basically slides in to one of the connectors in the actual virtual boy and, and taps the signal. And then over here on this side is where we're going to basically solder our VGA outputs as well as a button to change the uh, color palette. So the next thing we got to do is uh, start to take this little guy apart over here, which is the virtual boy. It hasn't been used in a bit, but we're going to go ahead and take it apart. Um, I do have the AC adapter on here. You guys can see how, how much use this gets, see how dirty that controller is. But we're going to go ahead and start taking this beast apart, and we'll pick it up once it's in pieces. All right, going back into this, I did just want to show you that for virtual boy, actually a lot of stuff, you are going to need these uh, security bit drivers. These are the ones that I use here. They're, a set of them is maybe like 10 or 15 bucks on eBay, but this opens NES, Sega, pretty much opens everything. I did this for my 64 RGB mod, but it's got these little, like, I don't think it's going to focus, these weird, like, security star bit tips. But you're going to need a set of these to open it up. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and crack this beast open. All right, so here is the juicy insides of the Virtual Boy. So I'm going to go ahead and read up on the, uh, the install method for this, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to tap into one of these... Uh, little ribbon cables here. I believe that ribbon cable just kind of simply slides underneath there. And then all we really have to do is kind of solder out. There's a lot of room here to put our jacks and everything, which is good. Uh, pretty much the thing, we're just going to solder out to the VGA port, and I'm pretty sure that is it. But I'm going to go ahead and read up a little bit, and we'll pick back up once I figure that out. But let's just take a look at the inside of this real quick. It's kind of neat. You don't really get to see inside of a uh, Virtual Boy too often. All right, so we have this more taken apart. I have gone ahead and uh, disconnected this right side ribbon cable. Uh, that ribbon cable basically is going to fit into this right side of the uh, virtual tap. The left side then goes out to, um, I'm sorry, tucks back into the uh, the original spot here if you wanted to keep using the, uh, the eye pieces. So in addition to that, I've gone ahead and pulled out the, the six wires we need. Come on, camera. For the, uh, the taps, we have RGB up here. For our video signal, we have our ground, then we have our two sinks, it's horizontal and vertical sink. I will need two more wires to run here for the button to change the color palette, but we'll go ahead and do that after we get this main thing. And so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and tin and prep these wires and go ahead and solder them into their respectable, come on phone, uh, spots here on the virtual tab. All right, so we finally have everything in here after some awful, awful soldering, very, very small solder spots um, i actually had to take apart a cat 5 cable to fit through the little through holes there but after hooking everything up and kind of checking everything we've got our ribbon cable inserted where the right eye normally would go kind of up here to the input of this board um, everything's working um, so i'll go ahead and get you guys a video of that here but now i have to figure out where to actually put this board how to tuck it into here somewhere and, and keep the ribbon cables from kinking up and, and coming loose and all that stuff so it's a cool board where if you want to keep the the function of the eye you can actually plug this cable here um, which is actually the original ribbon cable that went into the board here if you plug this board into the output of this board you actually keep functionality so i want to really try to do that but then also figure out a way to run these wires i think what i'm going to do is just run the um 
the little external VGA cable thing I have there, put some like cable sheeting on it or something and run it out. This way I have like an extension on it. This way I don't have to drill a gigantic hole into the plastic because I'm fine with just having a little leash on it for that. But let's go ahead and get some video footage of this guy running. All right, so we have the power in. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Boots the snow, which is really just the, the eye kind of oscillating the mirror or whatever it is. And there we go. We have a video signal tap off of the original Virtual Boy using the Furtech board. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to work on tucking this thing in. Once we have it in a final spot, uh, which will be later tonight, I'll take some video footage before we seal everything up. And then we'll do one last little shot of everything running. So far, so good. All right, so here we are. We'll go ahead and take a, a peek -see in the eyepiece. You can see we got some, uh, I don't know if it'll focus, let's see. Some virtual pinball there, and then up here, a virtual pinball, and then I have the button. Still got to finish up some of the wiring here, but as you can see, when you press the button, it changes the palette for you. So if you want to play regular, or I kind of like uh, this one the best. This one seems to be the easiest on my eyes, but. That's pretty much going to do it for this uh, video. We got it installed. It uh, was kind of a, a little harder than I like. I'm, again, I'm not great at uh, at soldering, so somebody else could probably do it much better than I did. And I do still have the wires here, as you can kind of see. I'm going to buy some sheeting. Um, a lot of people kind of just put the VGA port on the actual Virtual Boy. I don't think I'm going to do that. I just want a way that I can just run a cable out if I want to play it. Um, so I'm going to put a little DB15 like wire connector on that and make a little mount for the button and wire it up. So we'll probably come back to this once it's all buttoned up and done on another episode. But for now, that's going to do it.